everybody. I'm Debbie Allison, and this is Crazy Felix, and you're watching Paula McClay Bardet. Welcome back to Palmer Fly by Deb. I'm Deb and this is Crazy Felix. And if you are missing his outfits, they are all packed away because we're moving. He, however, is not missing his outfits. Um, today we are going to do a tutorial showing you how to make this Petey Penguin lifeguard. So now I'm going to show you what we will be using to complete this project. We're going to be using a tile to bake the ornament on. And um, I'm using a needle tool, a double end stylus. This I don't know what it is, it's a play tool and um, I found it useful. You can probably use um, any kind of thing that's around the same shape. And then I'm using a, an X-Acto knife, a straight edge ruler. Um, I'm using a heart shape cutter. Some eyeshadow that I'm using for blush, you can use chalk and an applicator. I have some hooks here that we're going to put in the ornament and some super glue. Now for the clay. I'm using a piece of white clay that I have uh, put through the pasta roller to a setting of eight. I have another piece that I put through the pasta roller that's a setting of four. I have um, a white piece here, white ball for the hat and a white ball for the life preserver. I have two pieces of mandarin soft femo that are going to be for his feet. One piece here that I'm going to make his beak out of. Then we have in femo soft black I have a large ball for his body, one for his head, and two for his wings. I have um, some red, cherry red femo soft that I have rolled out to a size 4 on the pasta roller and that will be the red parts of the life preserver. And then I have two gold snakes here that I've rolled out and this is um, Primo and I rolled these out um, two snakes and they will be for this part around the lifesaver. Now people have been asking me for what size are the balls of clay so I'm going to try to measure them and hopefully that will suffice. This um, large piece for the body is about one and a half inch diameter. The piece for the hat is about a half inch each piece for the feet are probably about um, a quarter and then for his body I have this is uh, about an inch and a quarter and then his head is about oh about an inch and then his wings are probably about a little over half an inch so hopefully that will help. So now that you know what we need, let's get started. So what we're going to do first is the life preserver and then we're going to set it aside. So I'm going to take this large ball of white clay and I'm going to uh, roll it out into a snake shape. And I think everybody is familiar with that. And um, everything usually starts with the ball and sometimes ends up as a snake. Okay, that's about the right size, so I am going to, no, oh, it's not even. All right, so I'm going to cut some ends off of it to make it a little bit smaller. And I think that's a good size right there. Now, I have my red here that I have uh, rolled out, or I've put through the pasta roller on a size or setting of four. And I'm going to make four of these um, pieces that go around the life preserver. And there's some cat hair. <laughs> That's not unusual. All right. I'm just going to use uh, almost um, a ruler's width. And we're going to do four of these. So... All right. 
right and now for the okay now I can um, put these on my life preserver and you just kind of wrap them around and you can cut them in the back like that and then to make sure they're even I'm just going to put another one right across from this one and turn it over and cut it and now I just have two more to do okay now that that's done I am going to do the gold that's going around the life preserver and as I said before I am using um, Primo for this and it is I guess it's metallic gold I'm not sure um, but doesn't have the flex in it so I'm rolling this out pretty thin and then my other snake now I'm going to uh, twist them together to make kind of like a rope and I found that a good way to make it tight is just to keep rolling one up and one piece down and if it's too fat like it is now you can just keep twisting it and pulling it and it will get thinner so um, we will finish this and put it around the life preserver okay now that I have that done I am going to wrap it around my life preserver and I cut it a little short so I'm going to stretch it out some till it meets there we go and I think I'm just going to try to have it meet up here in the middle I guess it doesn't matter but that might look better and just kind of press it on like that and then we're just going to put it aside and work on the penguin Okay, the first thing we're going to do is his body. So I'm taking the large piece of black Fimo Soft and I'm going to make it into the shape of the penguin and um, make it narrow at the top. It's kind of like a pear shape. And he's a little taller than what I would like, so I'm going to take a piece off. And um, I think that's better. Now, to make his legs, this is where I use that tool that I didn't know what it is. And I just put it in between here and push. And then I'm using this tool to kind of push them more. And then I kind of pull down on the black here to make the shape of his legs. And I think I want it to be a little deeper. There we go. And by doing that, it also makes a cute little belly. All right. Now I'm going to put his head on. And um, I think that might be a little large, so I'm going to take some of his part of the play off for his head. Okay, I think that's better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my tile. So that I don't have to pick up the penguin when he's finished. Okay, now I'm putting his head on. Then I, I have two pieces here that are for his wings. And here again they're balls. And I roll them out into kind of a leaf shape. And I want to make sure they are pretty close to the same size before I attach them. And it looks like they are. So I'm going to attach both of those onto the penguin. And then I'm going to put the white on. Alright, now we're going to do the white. And um, basically, the first thing I'll do is the face. And I just use a heart shaped cutter to cut the face. And then we just put it on. And then I'm going to do his body. Now this I just kind of like wing it. 
and I made kind of like the shape of a rolling pin or not a rolling pin, a bowling pin and then I cut a V in it for his legs. Now I'm going to put that on and cut it around his neck there and now that I have that on I'm going to bend his leg up like he's dancing. This little Petey Penguin is always dancing. Alright, now I am ready to do his face and I'm going to use two four millimeter beads which I forgot to tell you about in the beginning and those will be his eyes and then I'm going to do his cheeks first. So I'm using some chalk here or not chalk. This is actually um, eyeshadow, but you can use chalk. And I like to put it on here kind of dark because when you go to bake it and by the time you're done, it has kind of faded out. Alright, <clears throat> so we'll do his beak first before we put his eyes in. And I've got some, uh, some mandarin here. And here we just roll both ends at points and then squeeze it in the center and bend it and that will be his beak and then I just make a little round ball for his mouth and place that underneath actually I think that's too big we'll do it again <laughs> all right then I take my um, Double end stylus and poke a hole down in here for his mouth. And then I take the smaller side and make two little holes here in his beak. Alright, now I'm ready for his eyes. And I use the needle tool to do his eyes. And I put the first one in and I push up a little bit to give his eyes some shape and then the second one I always do upside down and that makes sure they're even and I do the same thing push up here and then I'm going to squeeze his head together a little bit to give his eyes a little more shape and this one needs to go up a little more and then do two little eyebrows with my needle tool. Okay, now we will do his feet. And I have two balls of mandarin. And I roll these out into um, a triangle shape. And you want to make sure that they're fairly even or the same size. And then I take my needle tool and push up, and this is what makes his feet. And then I shape them a little more. And uh, there we have his feet. Now I put one going up for what his dancing foot. And another one there. His eyes look a little on the strange side. It's a little better. Okay, now we will do his hat. Alright, now we are going to take this white ball of clay that I put aside here for his hat and we're going to shape it into like a half moon size and press that down and that is the center part of his hat and then I'm going to take this piece of white clay that I had rolled out to a size 4 or setting of 4 on my pasta roller and cut a strip for his hat or the brim whatever you want to call it on his hat. Okay, 
Now I just put this up here and cut the ends. And just kind of shape it on there and push it on to make sure that it's on there. Now when it's baked, you could actually put a name on his hat there. Alright, now we're ready to put the life preserver on. And I'm just pressing the rope on here a little better. Alright, so I put, put it over the top here. Press down. And then I'm going to press his wings up so that he can be holding it. And there he's done. All I have to do now is put a hook in it. And bake it for about 25 minutes at a setting of between 250 to 275. And oh, I forgot to tell you that you need to put some super glue in the hooks here. Um, just a dab on each side, and that will ensure that your hook's not going to come out. Okay, so now it is ready to bake. Well, that concludes this tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will be giving away this little kitty penguin to some lucky winner, so be sure you're subscribed. Um, please like, favorite, and subscribe to our videos. And until next time, I'm Deb with Palmer Play by Deb, and this is Crazy Felix, and he is naked today. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye-bye. This Petey Penguin Lifeguard. <laughs> um, I'm using a needle 